Sendom Computers. My name is Sendom C. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a desktop computer that doesn't display. With me here is a HP compact desktop computer that has the model HP Compact 8100 Elite SFF, that is small form factor, the model of the system. I'm going to connect it the system to see the fault it has. And you first of all connect the keyboard, the mouse, the VGA cable because the VGA cable will enable the system to display to the monitor. That is the screen. So I will plug the power to the system. Now the system is on, the ROM will eject to show actually that the system is on. But the problem now is that the system is not displaying to the screen, that is the monitor. The monitor has gone to sleep mode, while normally if the system displays to the monitor, it will show a green light depending on the type of monitor you are using. Some will show a blue light to show actually that the system has connected to the monitor. Now, the system is on, and normally, once the system displays to the monitor, when you cap lock your keyboard, that is pressing the cap lock key on your keyboard, the scroll lock key on your keyboard, and also the norm lock key on your keyboard, the three lights will show since the keyboard is connected to the system and once you cap lock or num lock or screw lock the system if the light comes on the keyboard Dix will actually tell you that the system has displayed but now I am cap locking the system num locking the system and even clicking the scroll lock there is no light found on the keyboard while the system is on. So this shows actually that the system is not displaying. So I'm going to trip up the system, open the system, so we can troubleshoot it to see exactly what the problem might be. So I'm about to open the system. We hold here, lift it up and open it. So this is the power pack, this is the DVD ROM, this is the hard drive, this is the RAM, this is the heat sink which the processor is under and this is the CPU fan as you can see here. This is the CPU fan. So now, the first thing you have to do while troubleshooting a system that doesn't display is to disconnect the power from the hard drive because that is where the information is stored in each computer. So it's necessary you disconnect the power from the hard drive so that it won't affect your hard drive while troubleshooting the system. So I have to remove the SATA cable and the power cable which powers the hard drive. Then now the next thing is to check your RAM. Normally I use Mentilator Spirit. So once I, I clean the RAM, test it back if the system 
has a RAM problem, it might display if the RAM is working properly. Or I may choose to try another RAM to see if the problem is from the RAM. This is the RAM teeth. So I have to clean the RAM teeth thoroughly with this. So after cleaning it, you put it back to the system to know if the problem is from the RAM. So these are the RAM banks. The system has four RAM banks. You insert it to any of the RAM bank. Then you on the system back on again. Now the system is on. To show actually that the system is on, I will eject the ROM. The system is on but it's still not displaying. So what could be the problem? The easiest way to do this is to remove the RAM entirely from the system and power the system without the RAM. Normally, if the problem is from the RAM, the system will, beep, will give you a sound and it will show a red light on the face of the system which actually shows that the system has a RAM problem. I've removed the RAM from the system. Let me power the system. Do you hear the sound? And look at the face of the system. is showing us a red light display and the system is also making noise so this actually shows that the problem might be from the RAM and you have to take note during this process once the power pack fan is on and the CPU fan is also on and is blowing the problem might actually be from the RAM but when the sound the system is making the sound and also giving that red light in the face of the system but the fan is not blowing this is not from the RAM it might be from the power pack or from the processor of the system so you have to take note of this once the system is making that sound pay 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 and there is a red light on the face of the system although systems vary there are some systems which won't show you red light but you have you you hear a beep sound that actually shows that the ram is not connected or intact on the memory module of the system and now i will off the system and look for a ram that i will put in order to know if actually the problem is from the RAM. With me here is a RAM DDR3 1 gig that has 1 arrow times 8 PC3 10600. This is a DDR3 RAM. So I will insert it to the system to see if the system will display this time. Let's try it. Wow, the system has just displayed. 
so this actually shows that the problem is from the RAM and take note I told you before that once you cap lock the system to show a light if the system has displayed and when you scroll lock the keyboard will also show a, a light the num lock also will show you a light once you click it so this shows actually that the system has displayed so I will off it and connect the hard disk back since the system has displayed then we will boot the system to see things for ourselves So look at the screen it's showing memory size error maybe the ram that was found in the system before okay is 4 gig but i just inside 1 gig that's the reason why it shows memory size error the system has actually noticed that the ram found on the system before it developed the problem is higher than the one i inside on the system so let me press f1 to save the changes and once the same ch the changes is being saved it won't show that error again the screen it says start windows normal so you have to click start windows normal i click enter system was loaded uh, the operating system is Windows 7 Ultimate the system has just boot so with this we have been able to troubleshoot the system and found out that the problem with it is the RAM. So take note of this. Once you plug the system, or once you connect it to the light, and the system is making that sound, pay, 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 and also showing red light on the face, you have to check if the CPU fan is blowing and also if the power pack fan is blowing if these two fans aren't blowing the problem is not from the ram you have to check if your power pack is faulty or if the cpu that is the processor is faulty so these are things to take note while troubleshooting a system that doesn't display so i'm going to shut the system down Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel for further updates.